Welcome to my Flicky AI tutorial. Here I'm going to be showing you how to use Flicky.ai for beginners. Of course, if you haven't gotten to test them out, I will leave my link down below. And if you click that, you can try them for free. Should you want to upgrade, there will also be a coupon code in the description where you can save a little bit of money, which is always a cool thing. That's the introduction, so let's get started right away. Once you're on the dashboard, anytime you want to create something new, you simply want to go to create new file right here. So let's click this. Now keep in mind there's going to be different files or different types of aspects you can create here with Flicky. We have video, so for YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and so on and so forth. Audio is going to be for uh, voiceovers, audiobooks, podcasts, and more. And we have design where you can create images, carousels, PDFs, presentations, and more. Given the fact Flicky is very big on videos, I'm going to go over most of their video aspects right here. As a lot of the other things are going to be pretty straightforward if you go through and, you know, kind of fill it out exactly how I'm going to be doing now for video. So I'm going to be using video here. I'm going to give it a file name. For this one, I'm just going to be calling it YouTube Marketing for Beginners. I'll be doing a couple of examples, so usually something that's at the top of my head. So that's going to be there. We have our language, uh, dialect US is going to be fine. We have our aspect ratio, of course. So if you want to do portrait, this is going to be, say, like for an Instagram short, or if you want to do landscape for like a YouTube video, I'm going to do portrait on this one. And for the next example, I'll go with the alternative, which is going to be landscape. There is also square, but that's going to be the one to one ratio. Probably most likely you'll want to use one of these here, portrait or landscape, but let's continue on. Now this is going to be what you can do with Flicky in terms of your video. So we have empty file. There's going to be an idea, which is a prompt, which you just kind of put in anything and you go from there. There's a script. You can take a blog post. You can use a PowerPoint, a tweet, a product, and a template. So there's a lot of things that you can use to get up and running. So you're going to want to choose the one obviously here and then click on submit. You can always change it if needed. So remember how I said you could always change it if needed. This is going to be where you go with it. So we're under magic create now. So if you wanted to use a script, you can just paste that in there. It's pretty simple to do. I'm actually going to skip that one because all you have to do is just paste it in there. For example, if you were on chat GPT, get your strip, paste it in there and everything else is going to be the same. Uh, this is another one where if you do a blog URL, I think I'll do this example after we just paste in the link and change around the settings. If you have a PowerPoint file, you can upload it right there. Everything else is going to be similar. We have a tweet where if you want to paste that in, and of course we have a product. So if you have a product URL, supported websites at the time are only going to be Amazon and Airbnb, but those are examples. Let's go back to idea right here. I'm just going to do YouTube marketing for beginners. You can set the duration of this, the maximum amount of time you want it to be. For this example, since I want to keep it short, I'm just going to go with one. For stock media, we can keep it on video. For AI media, you can do video or image. I'm just going to keep it on image. We can always change it. Here are going to be the templates. Let's select one of these. And it would be nice if they had a few more, in my opinion. They only have these at the time. So I am going to pick one. I like kind of like the color and what's going on. I like this one here. I'm going to select that. And we have branding and more. Not a whole lot going on there, but if you want to play around with those, you certainly can. An AI avatar, I have the specific pricing plan that's one below this, so I haven't gotten to use this. But if you do have it, that's where you can set it up. So let's click on submit. Okay, so it's going to create. It's going to take a little amount of time depending on how long it's going to be. But once it is done, I will get back to you and I'll show you the dashboard when it comes to editing your video. All right, and so here we have it. We're gonna be on the editor here. It's pretty straightforward to use. So first and foremost, when you wanna change around the audio, we're gonna go right here. What I have right here is just the volumes are gonna be all the way down because I don't want it to play over me. But if you did wanna change it around, you can click on night and day. And there's plenty here that you can utilize in terms of stock library. There are gonna be some sound effects where you can search it in, obviously play it, add it in. And let's say we wanted to go with this one here. You're going to notice it just changes right here. Okay, so it is on auto pick right here. There's going to be some other options where you can hide the layer, where you can duplicate it, or you can delete it. Okay, this is going to be important, say, if you wanted to just completely delete a slide that it created. Because remember, this is going to be completely up to Flicky in this idea one is that you're not giving it as much information. When it comes to a script, it's going to be much more targeted because you've given it a lot more information. So let's take a look at the first scene. You'll notice something that I brought up in my review as well, which is I think is pretty cool. You're going to notice that there's going to be the text that's shown and then it's going to be what the voice actually says. So a lot of times in say like text to video creators, these are going to be the same, but I think it's nice that it's going to showcase this, but actually talk about something else. So in the next few seconds, you'll learn the basics of YouTube marketing while they see this. Okay. Ironically enough, this one is very simple, very straightforward. So engage with your audience through comments, uh, builds community, you know, build community. Uh, once again, we have more text here, interact with followers through comments to foster community engagement. And they're just showcasing that. So let's say we want to actually add more. 
what we can do is let's say we want to duplicate this scene so we can go right here let's duplicate it and now we have the same one which is going to be let's see right here so we can change this around so let's say we want to add this as well so the voiceover is going to say for this we have add hooks to the beginning of your videos and we could say something like let's delete this aspect we just want one section of text there we go let's go back there we could say like hooks are everything. And what we can do anytime you wanna change around the media, you can simply click on media here and we can go to stock library. And since we have video here, we could just do like YouTube video, anything related to that can work, right? Uh, so someone like say they're watching this, if there's gonna be a good hook, let's say something like this will work. Let's add that in, let's click on it and do select. And just like that, it's going to be changed, okay? And there you have it, the fundamentals. So this is a very short one. What I'm gonna do is just go back and uh, we can just you know play through and see what it sounds like. Okay, so let's click on play. I'll stop talking. I'm gonna put the volume up too. Keep in mind that you're gonna be hearing the volume through my speaker, so there might be an echo. That's gonna be the reason why. In the next few seconds, you'll learn the basics of YouTube marketing. Engage with your audience through comments, builds community, add hooks to the beginning of your videos. And there you have it, the fundamentals of YouTube marketing. Okay, so that was obviously just an example. There's something else I do want to show you that if you want to change the voiceover, you can simply click on Wade right here. And if you want to go to another one, let's say we wanted to do Aiden, we can do select. You can also do apply to all scenes. So if you did find one you like, you know, you could always change it. So you could do different voiceovers for different slides, or you can just do apply to all scenes if you happen to like that. I'm just going to click on that to show you what it looks like. And you're going to notice Aiden is now the voice. Okay, so you also have the voiceover here. You can do the speed, you can do volumes. There's going to be a few other options in case you want to utilize that. But once you are done, there's going to be the download button right here. And that's what the basics are going to be of creating a video file, just kind of going in and changing around some of the things. If there are scenes you didn't like, let's say you didn't like this one, I think I showcased before, you can just completely delete that scene and so on and so forth. If you needed more scenes, it's good to just duplicate one and then you can change it around, showed you how to add the media and so on and so forth. And of course, download will be last. Let's go back to the main homepage or the dashboard and I'll show you another example when we copy in a URL and create a video from that. All right, great, so let's do new file again. I'm just gonna do affiliate marketing last. So this was from an article I did a long time ago, how long will affiliate marketing last? Instead of doing portrait, we're gonna do landscape, say for a YouTube video. And for this one, we're going to do the blog post where we just paste in a link and it's gonna create a video based on that. So let's click submit. And once again, I am choosing these two because once you do these, I think all the rest of them are gonna be the same. Once again, script is gonna be where say you put in your chat GPT script or just a script that you have, right? And then everything else is gonna be the same. PowerPoint, you just upload your file. Tweet, you just add in a tweet URL and product. That's gonna be a link to the product page on Amazon or Airbnb, okay? So here it is, let me paste in the link. How long will affiliate marketing last? Let's just do once again, max duration. I'm gonna do one minute, AI media is fine. Let's go with our templates. This is one you'll probably wanna change around. And I like this one right here. And let's do submit. Once again, let's give it some time. And once it's done, I'll see you in the dashboard. We can edit around this video. So while this was loading, I actually went into chat GPT and I just created a script. So I will do one more example just to showcase that after. So, all right, everything else is business as usual. Everything we've gone over before. So this might be a little bit repetitive, but Repetition is a good thing, right? If we did want to change the audio right here, we can click on this. Once again, I'm just gonna put the audio down, so if I want to play it. How long will it uh, last? Affiliate uh, expert expresses thoughts, you know, the longevity and predictions. So this person, that was actually from the website itself, so that's fine. Are you wondering how long it will last? So let's just say like someone is curious. Okay, so something like that can work. Is that Michael C. Hall? That Isn't looks that like predictable. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, what's his name from Dexter. I think it's Michael C. Hall is his name. It's funny seeing that there, but anyway. So that one, there's always some uncertainty about how long it will be around for. So we're looking for like, does this person seem uncertain? Are they non-optimistic? We're just looking for something that's gonna match what we're talking about here. So that can be decent. They're kind of thinking about it. It's existed for a long time. So they're talking about sales here. Maybe you have a sales team, that's fine. What do we have here? I have no idea what this, it looks like we need to change it. So uh, let's see, rules, regulations, it adapts. Okay, so let's just say, how about something like money, you know, just related to commissions or something like that. I think that's fine. We'll go with select. Great, and you're gonna notice that we now have the non-portrait version, all right? So this is good for YouTube videos. 
Uh, average person doesn't last long, so they need to change their mindset. So someone probably thinking that's fine. Okay, still works, you know, stock media, that's fine as well. And we have, looks like we have an AI person vacuuming. So the uh, the promising future of affiliate marketing, I like that because it's like future, it's also uh, AI and so on and so forth. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'll just click right here. Once again, I'm gonna start it, probably won't go through all of it, but just showcase what it looks like. Affiliate marketing last, expert expresses thoughts. Are you wondering how long affiliate marketing will last? You're not alone. Let's dive into the future of this industry. There's always some uncertainty about how long affiliate marketing will be around. However, I am optimistic it has a long future. Affiliate marketing has existed for a Okay, not too bad. And once again, I really like how the voiceover is going to be different from the text. However, you can always make it the same if you just copy this and paste it into there. Okay, so if you wanted to change those around, I'm pretty sure I went into it. You could just go in here and just type it in. Let's dive into the future of this, you know, fantastic industry. Something like that, right? Okay, so that would be added in there. Uh, it's saving automatically. And then, of course, I think we had at the end. Uh, let's see. And yeah, I don't think I need to go over too much in here, right? We know how to add our different media. We know how to change around our text. We know how to do the voiceovers. And, of course, we know how to download it. So pretty much a very quick example. Once again, a lot of this is going to be similar. There are going to be the fact that you can use transitions as well. So if you want to go into this and just simply click on it, choose how it's going to do it from left, from right, from bottom. You can also use that on all of them or just that specific one. That is one thing I didn't get to bring it up, but that's going to be that. Okay. So that's the transition aspects. Let's go back one more time and I'm going to do new file, uh, length of affiliate marketing. Okay, and this is gonna be the script. Let's do submit. Landscape's fine. Okay, it says paste your script here where each paragraph is a scene. So I am gonna paste it in there and you're gonna notice there's not too many paragraphs, especially if you make that one as well. So what you could do is just kinda go in here and add some extra paragraphs like that. Uh, then we go in here. There we go. And I'm just going to keep it as that so it doesn't you know, take forever to do. So I'm going to delete the rest, but that's what I would recommend doing. Just break it down so that each paragraph isn't so long. All right. It's more about one or two sentences. Like this would be the next section. There's just obviously, it's kind of like a headline, right? So we can keep that there. Once again, stock media, all this once again is business as usual. I'm going to do a different one this time. Let's go with, uh, actually I do like that one, but I'll go with this one. And let's click on submit. All right, and so here we have it. Once again, we have our audio gonna be here. We have the specific scene right here. There's gonna be a good amount of voiceover with some text right here. We have text here and text top at the bottom, exploring the evolution of performance-based marketing. Let's do like today, so it's not as big. Let's see, well, we can just do the evolution. There we go. So it's just not as big, right? Uh, next one, okay. And the media doesn't look too bad. Like this is affiliate marketing. This looks like maybe a business team, sales team, right? <clears throat> Someone with money and so on and so forth. And I probably don't need to go through everything again, right? So I just want to kind of uh, reiterate some of the most important aspects here. If we want to change any of this, we can easily do that. If you want to get rid of each of these sections, maybe you don't want both of these text sections. You can always delete that. How we change our media is clicking on it, searching for it, and of course, finding it. If we want to add more scenes, I just like duplicating one and then changing around the new scene. We can, of course, delete a scene completely, or if you just want to add a new scene, you can do it that way. And we have some other aspects on the right side, like timing, uh, transitions, or when we actually click on a, a different one. There we go. There's going to be the transition when you click on the scene. And of course, last but not least is going to be the download button, but I think that should be good when it comes to this flicky.ai tutorial. Once you know how to go through and kind of set it up, it comes pretty repetitive and that's a good thing. You just kind of repeat the same process. I like software when it does that. It's like, it's more about identifying the type of video you want to create, whether it's going to be landscape or whether it's going to be the portrait mode, obviously like YouTube shorts versus a YouTube video type of thing. And then of course, it's more about adding in the specific information that you need. Something else I do want to bring up is that in the beginning, we had that idea and you'll notice it was about like three slides. Maybe I added an extra one. This is very similar to anything that's AI. The more information that you give it, the better results that you're going to get. So if you're wondering why the first one wasn't all that great, because I literally gave it one phrase, right? And you'll notice once I changed that, I gave it a full article and then I gave it most of an, an actual script. 
the accuracy significantly increased. So that's just something to keep in mind when using it. The more information you feed it, like the better input, the better output. And that's about it. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you haven't gotten to test out Flicky.ai, my link is in the description where you can test them out for free. And should you want to upgrade, there's also a coupon code where you can save a little bit of money. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching this Flicky tutorial, and I'll see you in my next video.